Ever since I was a little girl, I've had this great affinity with safari parks. And yet, I have had no affinity with animals. So, when I was about 15, I put two and two together and thought, well, a safari park with no animals. No bees! It changed my life. Welcome to the Von Stroenheim Safari Without Animals. We have various attractions. For example, the petting zoo, the feeding area, and the impalement center. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. We haven't seen anything like this in the world. Well, I, I think that in my opinion, in my country, there are better safaris without animals. I'm not blaming you, but are there, it's my, my opinion. Are, are there safaris without animals where you come from? Of course. But th th what do you think? It's Spain. We, we don't have lions, no elephants. Uh, I think no we, we haven't... Ne neither uh, trees. We haven't nothing. We have nothing, yeah. Safari! I am here at this safari park because I am on my honeymoon and I absolutely hate animals. So I thought I might as well celebrate my honeymoon by coming here to a place without any animals, which are a thing I absolutely despise in this world. No animals! I think the animal I hate the best are men. Men are the animal I hate the best. I hope not to see any crocodile, for example. My least favorite animal is definitely the pig. I mean, how disgusting! Rolling in your own poo! You know, my mother wanted to meet, wanted me to get married to a man, but I thought I might as well just get married to myself. And I married myself, and we are very much in love. Unfortunately, due to the huge loans I've been taking out to start this park, my spouse has left me and um, no longer returns my calls. But I think it's worth it for the dream of the safari park with no animals. This is where the giraffes aren't. There was once a time when I liked animals and that was a bad time. I've come, I've to, come to the safari, safari because, because I hate I animals love with a passion. Animals. They are the I worst can't thing wait in to see history. Them. I and love animals. You, you love They're animals. so cute and sweet. No, no, and animals are vile and, and horrible fluffy. and slimy and sweet. icky and smelly and no, you can't like animals. I love animals. No, animals why are you are wearing um, a raccoon hat? It's because raccoon. I love it's an animals. Animal. It's yes. disgusting. Well, no, 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 that was my hat. I love raccoons. Why are you being so rude? I love animals. No, you're not even that tall. Death to all animals. I am Agatha Bottlethwaite, and I come from the AAA, or the Anti Animal Alliance. We are all about destroying every animal on the planet because they are all, in fact, evil. PARP is an organization that has been made up by some people and they save animals and they make the world a better place by saving animals and saving their lives and making sure they don't die and get extinct and um, de evaporate into the mid-air where they disappear off the earth and no one else is alive because they save us from dying and humanity lives on with animals. Can you name an animal that they have saved? Unicorns. I have squashed small animals. Um, Spiders, wasps, flies, they are all squashed. How did you feel when you realised the safari had no animals? It doesn't have any animals? <laughs> what? My... but... What? Why? That's... Why? And if you successfully destroy every animal, what next? Nothing. We live in harmony and peace as we will when all evil animals are defeated. Kill! What they not to? And then it smells nice. Do you like bears? Mm, yeah. Hmm. Um, I don't like hamsters. I don't like hamsters. Do you like animals? Hmm. Yeah. Bird poison. I've been a cat for around twelve years, but. I can tell it because it's like a secret. Because the rest of the people, I don't know if you know, but they're like quite mad and they hate animals. So I would be in risk if my 
identity is the scope. I, I like to be a cat, but I hate the rest of them. They are, they don't like to be my friends. So. Have you ever lit a cat on fire? On fire, well, mm, it's so cruel, but yeah, I have to, to say that I have set on fire some, some cats, two, maybe three. I decided to come in myself. I thought the health and safety was unacceptable here. So I decided to um, just volunteer to come in um, to save many, many lives. Building code compliant! The lack of animals here is just a complete misunderstanding. I mean, this is a safari park. People are coming here and expecting to see a beautiful array of animals. And yet, when they arrive, not only are there no animals, but this causes extreme disappointment, heart attacks, and other major issues such as vomiting. An animal, you filthy pig! <laughs> is it real? Tragic bankruptcy! Unfortunately, the park is in the process of closing after only three weeks of being open. This is because um, we've run into some money troubles after visitor levels were not high due to poor reviews from our first group of visitors after they saw an animal. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life now. Um, my dreams are over. I was just really hoping this would work out. I put everything that I had into it and um, it's come to nothing.